an organization that's never had to enforce visiting hours or limit who can, can't be with someone during their final moments of life is now having a real tough time making some tough, tough, hard decisions. Yeah, this is really difficult. Gilchrist Hospice Care says COVID-19 is forcing some necessary critical changes. WMER 2 News Dave Detling explains the emotional changes to this protocol. Gilchrist says its aim is to create positive memories for families dealing with hospice care. Now its mission has been tested, but despite this health crisis, the organization says no client will die alone. Constant communication, constantly educating. You know, we're learning more and more about the virus itself and how it spreads and how to protect yourself. Kathy Hemmel, president um, of Gilchrist, explains how she's keeping her staff motivated to do the hospice care work needed amid COVID-19 in Maryland. People feel called to the work in some way, and um, I think they're proud to be able to do the work, and I think they're grateful for the information so that they can protect themselves. Her people are protected, wearing gear to shield themselves. While there's been no known positive case of COVID-19 at a Gilcrest facility, there has been a change in practice. Family members have limited visitation, something that's extremely difficult during a loved one's final hours. We have had to, unfortunately, uh, limit that to one visitor per family. And we are also limiting that visit time as best as we can predict to the final hours of that person's life. Gilchrist says it's doing everything possible to relay your love if you can't be there in person. The extent to which we get reactions, you know, whether that's a gentle smile or maybe a hug of a hand, we are communicating that back to the family and doing all that we can to make it as, as positive experience as we can make it given the limitations. And while the visitor limitation remains in place, Gilchrist says it has about 500 clients that are receiving hospice care at home. Those clients are fortunate enough to be surrounded by family. In Baltimore City, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.